Hi guys, Tex Park here with another video review. This time we're looking at the Transformers Animated Rescue Ratchet. Basically, if you don't know anime, uh, Transformers Animated, basically it was like a animated movie that came after the 2007 movie. Um, it was kind of an animated show, just, a, just an animated show, uh, which was, I find was pretty cool. It was The style was really cool, the stories were really cool. It was, Back to that sort of fun stories back that you wondered. Basically, this is Rescue Ratchet, which is a repaint of the original Ratchet, which I was going to get, but something's happened and my it's gone somewhere and I can't get it again. But I will get the original one just to show off. But this the, the original one was red and white. This one is actually obviously as you can see yellow and white with red details. And it's real cool. Um, it comes with four accessories. Uh, unfortunately, you cannot install them in vehicle mode, but you can install them in robot mode. Um, pills it comes with, which here I don't know what that tool that is, but I'm just going to call it a bottle opener because it looks like a bottle opener or a can opener or whichever. You have a looks like a giant screwdriver flathead piece with a traditional looking spanner an adjustable spanner that is and you've got like this fire, the fire axe a hammer um, looks like a steel hammer to be fair um, they've got, they've got moulding de details in, on, on it and stuff you've got a yellow clip there which I'll show off you can clip that to any I think is it 5mm clip points I think uh, but yeah they move and that's pretty much it. Um, pretty cool the fact that it comes with some accessories. Um, for a Deluxe. He is a Deluxe, uh, I don't know if I mentioned that but he's a Deluxe. But here he is in vehicle mode and he is a, well obviously he is an ambulance but not your traditional ambulance. This is more like a 4x4 four four sort of ambulance. Probably be more like a uh, active re response vehicle, you know like um, like if you're trapped on a mountain or a hilly place, so a big ambulance probably will get this, but this will get there if a helicopter car. Well, well that's what I think anyway. As you can see, it's like a, a bumblebee yellow. yellow. Um, if you remember the bumblebee from the same um, series as this, it's the same yellow. Um, again, the vehicle mode looks good, apart from it, it, it has that uh, different colour syndrome on the vehicle mode, which I mean. This is painted here and this is moulded in yellow. As you can see the difference there the, between the yellow. There's not it's not you can be helped. I've seen it on expensive toys as well. There's, it can't be helped unless you paint the whole thing or mould the whole thing in that colour. You have the medical um I can't remember the name of the the, the monitor thing on either side. As that's it. You have an autobot logo on the front, which is really nice. I just like the yellow, it just it pops with the white and especially with the red. Uh, you've got molding and details on either side, you've got a door here. Uh, you can see the hinge for the transformation here, but it's not that high, big of an eyesore. There's a bit of silver on each, either side for the window, on either side. Molding detail again. The wheels are just solid plastic with, so, with some molding detail on the inside. To the front, you have like a bumper with a. I can't remember the name of that now. That'll come to me. Uh, winch, there you go, with a winch on the front. That's painted silver. You've got nice uh, lights, plastic lights in there with some detail on the inside there. Some. You've got light details on the bottom here. Um, the whole bonnet piece here is painted white, although you can see the cap, but I'm not bothered about that. The front windscreen is got uh, see through, but you can also, you can just about make out some seats in there. Um, the back you have. Some more molded in detail. You got lights in there, which are plastic. Uh, you have more molding in detail there, and you, there is panel break up there, but you can't help that with the transformer. And more molding detail in there. Underneath, you see the legs, because it's a transformer. But there's some molding in detail there, which I think they put that in to look like um, an engine or something, which is pretty cool. But yeah, the vehicle mod is pretty cool, and it can roll very well. Size comparison. Here he is with Transformers Prime Bumblebee. You can see. Um, they're roughly the same size, 
um, in deluxe form. Um, he's obviously bulky because he's an ambulance, but roughly, I think these scale well together probably. Sorry, I'm knocking things over. Um, this scale well, these two, even though from different uh, universes, but yeah, pretty cool. And as you can see, this is the new Bumblebee colour, and that's the old Bumblebee colour, you can see the difference. So, the transformation is really simple. Um, I just remember how simple it is, basically, it, it transforms the way you think, but it's fun. Uh, to transform, you want to do is flip up these side pieces, that side, and on that side. And then you want to detach these, the back piece here, the two clips on there and there that clip into there, pull that down and that will just flop down at his feet, go ahead and separate them, and then what you want to do is come here, this piece, moulded piece here you want to flip out, now there's a little notch here you can pull out, it's a bit tight, pull out and it comes out with a head, um, with a heel, so on this side, like that. And then his legs will like from transformation straight them out. And then you come up to the back and you lift this whole back piece up here, like that. So it goes up and over like that, you see? Up and over. And that one would be on the arms. Um, then these uh, this piece here you have to detach from the front. I don't know if you saw that. This piece here is attached from the front there, so you can loosen the arms out. And there's a hinge on the you pull the hinge out and then twist the arm down so you've got the arm in that position, like that. Same on this side, detach these side pieces from the bumper, the, the bonnet, then swing the whole arm down, like that, and then fold these pieces out flat, like that. And then this whole piece, including the top piece with a light on it, bring that down and then fold it up against his pack so he's got a backpack, an actual backpack. And then what you want to do here is you want to collapse, grab here and collapse the body into the body. So when you do that, his head will spring up on the spring. And then the fists you want to grab pull out, whoops, pull out like that, twist around, bring, bring the thumb around and the, the other hand there, then you'd rather grab the arm here instead of pulling down here because you end up breaking it off, which I've done on before ages ago, situate the fist, bend the elbows, situate him, and then we have Ratchet, animated Ratchet in uh, Robot Man. Um, the colours come from Robot Mode, from Vehicle Mode to Robot Mode, which is really cool. In fact, the, the, the addition of some more black and some grey on his arms and his legs here with a bit of a red, so it gives him a little bit more detail. Again, the bright colour makes it really cool. Um, and again, on his face, if we can zoom in. Zoom in there, as you can see, it's the same ratchet face if you don't know. Um, he's got black details on either side, which looks like he's crying ink for some reason. He's got uh, the modding details on either side, which are in red, and his crest is red. So that looks pretty cool. Um, he does have light piping, but it's very difficult to see. Um, as you can see there, um, he's, he's got some light piping, but it's, you see, some light piping, which is pretty cool. It's not the best, but it's there. For his accessories, he can have them uh, on his face with his uh, piece in there that you can peg the clip onto, like so. Like that, and he can actually hold. His weapons like that. Um, he can, yeah, I don't. He can't really hold them in his hands. Um, you could probably try. Um, sort of, but he's going to be loose. 
uh, but you can have all the weapons attached on both arms if you wish or you can have them attached on the back here with these this peg um, warned it's you can fit all four on there but they will with the slightest touch they will fall off so I'll just try and peg I'll just peg in about two of them wait as you can see it come off I'll try and peg them all in but I'll just show you with this peg in there like that if you can see sorry as you can see the peg in there and then when you bring this piece up bring it like that and then bring this piece out so you can just flap that up so it looks like it's got like a, a medical pack on to um, store the weapons that you can see there which looks pretty cool once you get them in properly they look pretty cool um, in addition to those he has two sort of weapony tools on him that are fixed by um, I can't remember how you activate them um, at all um, I think you twist the arm or something but I can't activate them so I'm just going to pull them forward for you they're spring loaded um, they're like kind of um, I don't know what they're like um, I, it's been ages since I've seen the show but I can't remember I think they're the, are the cutting tools, spanner, I don't know what they are but they're on either side like I said I can't remember how you activate them I think you're supposed to twist the arm around and it activates but spring loaded out like that. you can either have them or that half these weapons stored or you don't have to have the weapons stored and put the tool somewhere else because it just looks just as good with amp tools size comparison here he is with Transformers Prime Ratchet uh, and this will show the difference between the sizes of the deluxes um, as you can see Ratchet is much bigger and bulkier as in the one from Transformers Prime is a much smaller and thinner figure um, this is the one with the repo level set on so if it looks different to yours that's why but as you can see that's the size um, even in vehicle mode um, the, the size is smaller I mean, in fact I think Bumblebee's bigger than any, but it's, it's a quite small figure, but it's still good. This is my preferred size of Deluxes. But again, they look pretty good on the shelf. These are the only two ratchets I have, but I'll get more. Um, all in all, Rescue Ratchet is really cool. I like the bright colours, are really, I like you've got a stripe on the side there. They're really cool. His articulation is br brilliant. He stands up straight. Um, it doesn't tend to. It, the only reason he's wobbling is because we just display place but it's pretty cool um, I definitely recommend getting him um, the articulation is basically the same as any other transformer it's, it's got like kind of ratchets up here ratchets on ratchets he has a swivel below that and it bends at the elbow um, no articulation in there in the fist or arm he has articulation in the thumb and the fingers due to transformation um, his head is on a ball joint but it's on this it's really tight and it kind of wants to spring in and out so you can get some range of movement there there is no waist articulation he has he doesn't have a ball joint he has a hinge and a swivel there and a swivel below that and bends at the knee and he bends here due to transformation when he's broken his leg out and he has some foot pivot due to transformation but I definitely recommend getting this for your collection. If you haven't seen Transformers Animated, I, I reckon you should watch some, go on YouTube and type in Animated. The, I like the whole animated piece on the stories, like, the stories, and they're not silly, I'm just saying the stories remind me a lot of the G1, which I think they were trying to do, but again, it was cut short too, too much, just like Transformers Prime, which is kind of a thing these days in cartoons the 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 they have three seasons at max and then they could cancel them even though they can do tons and tons of stories um, but you see Ratchet is really cool I will be getting the normal clothes one and review it as soon as I can as long as it, the post doesn't get messed up so yeah this is text back don't forget to like comment and subscribe tell me what we think of this figure and this review thanks guys see you later